Hello, my name is Phil. I am a uh, tugboat mate. Presently, I'm training aboard the uh, the vessel Craig Eric Reinauer, which is a large ATB. Uh, operates uh, delivering petroleum on the east coast of the United States. I uh, just graduated SUNY Maritime College, and I've been asked to uh, make this video to uh, teach people how to use, uh, how to uh, get C-Clear, which is a common open source navigation program, to uh, work with charts that you download free from NOAA. Now, if you do a Google search for NOAA chart downloads, you should be able to come to this page here. And this is the Office of Coast Survey, which is the branch of NOAA that makes the charts for us. And they have them all offered here for free. Now, there's two kinds of electronic charts out there. There's raster navigational charts, and these are the charts that you're interested in. These are the only kind of charts that work with C-Clear. C-Clear works with raster charts, and it works with um, some other kinds of files. But basically, a raster chart is just a scan, electronic scan, of a paper chart. And then they put it in a little, uh, little file in a folder, and uh, that's your raster navigational chart. A vector chart is another electronic chart, and they're really cool, actually. Uh, but basically, a vector chart is just a big download, a big uh, database of all the objects, like this buoy, and it creates a database item with its location, and it displays on the screen. Um, but the the main advantage of a raster chart is it has the look and the and the uh, familiarity of a paper chart. Uh, vector charts are a little bit more space age looking, the way they display the information. But they offer some features like zooming and and uh, you can turn different layers of the database on and off. Uh, for instance, since I work on a vessel where my deep draft is about 22 feet, I can actually turn off any areas of the chart that are shallower than 22 feet, which gives me a very, uh, very good graphical representation of where I can navigate safely with the vessel. Now, if you click here, to download the charts, it'll bring you to a, a, another page at NOAA that looks like this. Now over here on this page, you can down, select which charts, which raster charts that you want to download from NOAA. Uh, over here it says all. If you click on that, it will download a big huge file, uh, 2,027 megabytes, with every raster navigational chart in the United States. Uh, and I believe they also cover Puerto Rico and a couple of the uh, uh, Guam and a couple of the American possessions, uh, which is really uh, impractical for a lot of people. Uh, what you may want to do is select in a Coast Guard district, like the first Coast Guard district is from Maine all the way down to Shark River, New Jersey. Um, if you navigate like out of New York, and that may be what you're interested in. That's where I am, and that's the one that I would get. Even if I click down here in New York, if I go down to Jersey, I won't have those charts. So for me, this is the one that I want. Now this opens up a little uh, disclaimer from NOAA. The little limitations on use and permitted uses of the raster charts, which you should read. And then you click OK, and it'll download a file for you. Now I'm using um, Firefox as my browser and it'll open up a little download window uh, but since I've already done all of that before I tested everything I'm going to tell you previously uh, I already downloaded it it's 318 megabytes the first Coast Guard district I'm going to open the containing folder and it, this is uh, documents and settings and administrator my documents downloads and since I have a bunch of other crap and files that I downloaded they all come here so what you want to do is you want to find the file that you just downloaded, which is 01cgd underscore rncs s dot zip. That's the file that I just downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that file and I'm going to select extract files. Now I think I have uh, WinRare ex uh, installed on a computer, but I think the thing that's built into Windows should be able to unzip it fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called Charts. 
and I'm going to put the files that I unzipped into that folder. Now, since I already have a folder called Charts that I've that I've been using for a while, I'm going to call it Charts 2, just so it's blank, and I'm starting over here. So I'm going to click OK. Now, the computer is now unzipping that entire zip file that I downloaded from Noah into that folder, and it's going to take a Take a couple minutes to do that. Now I'm going to put that in the background. Now I'm going to close this window. I'm going to close all these windows here. Because I'm done with my web browser. Now I have a brand new instance of CClear on my desktop here. Now this is an old computer. It's an old Windows XP laptop, but I actually use a Linux computer. But I pulled this out because uh, Windows is more relevant to the people using this video. Now I'm going to open up mapcal2.exe, which was on my desktop. But if you download uh, CClear from the website, you should be able to get this far. You should be able to install CClear and uh, get this working and uh, get to this screen. Now once you're at the CClear calibration utility, which is what it's called, you just click on Tools and you click on Set Directories. Now right here is already a directory. Uh, in here called settings, uh, documents and settings, administrator, desktop, charts, uh, which I don't know if I set that up previously or not, but that's that's in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new directory because I just unzipped those files. So I put them in my documents, charts two. So I'll click on that. Now that's all you got to do. You just leave it on charts two, or you can click on BSB root, but charts two is probably better. Now, this is the trick that people can't seem to master here. All you have to do is put your cursor up here where it says Charts 2. You put a forward slash, like the other forward slash there. And then you put star dot star. The old DOS command, which is a wild card. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to tell CClear that all your charts are located in this directory. Now, I'll actually take this one out that I had everything in before, just so we could test this out from scratch. Now, I'll click OK. Now, see, the MapCal is actually going in there and looking for that stuff now. But uh, you're going to go into here to Auto Load List. Then you're going to click Scan for New Charts. Now, CClear is going to go in. It's going to scan that folder. That's the name of the folder that I just created. And it's going to scan that for the charts that, that we just put in there. Now, it's telling me that there's 333 charts in the list. So I'm going to click OK. i got a couple little error messages here, but nothing to worry about. It's probably because they're still unzipping in the background there. Now I can close out of MapCal, and then I can open up CClear. Now, when you first open up CClear for the first time, you're going to get a blank screen. So you can just click File, Chart, List All. And it'll list all the charts that I just downloaded. So you can pick the chart of your choice, New York Lower Bay, and open it up. Now I got the corner of the chart here, and then you can just click and drag and move down. But what I'm going to do actually to look at this whole chart to show everybody is I'm going to click down to 25%, and you can see I'm looking at the Raritan Bay East Reach. And that's Sandy Hook. Now, if you zoom out even farther, it'll give you the whole chart, or most of the chart. Now we can uh, list all the charts again. And I'll put the northern part of New York Bay. And you can see Coney Island, the Narrows, and the Verrazano Bridge. And to zoom in, zoom into 50%. And there's the narrows. Now, once you plug this into a GPS, it'll actually put a little boat where your position is. And that, but that's for a different video. If you have any questions or comments about the video, if I did not explain something in depth enough, uh, please leave the comments on the bottom, and I'll try to address your questions.